Okay, cool. Everybody can see my screen okay? And just as a reminder, um, uh, when I'm lecturing here on my, my little screen, I, I can't easily see the chat. So if you guys have any questions, by all means, unmute and just, just uh, shout out your question or ask your question. Um, uh, so um, uh, putting stuff in the chat is fine, but I won't be able to see it until, until later. Cool. Okay, so uh, we started off a little brief dis discussion about disasters last time. And um, that, that's leading into this talk, which is um, about some of the key ideas related to um, disasters broadly writ. So the other, other activity I wanna do this um, uh, today given that we're, we're still stuck, stuck on Zoom and we're about to go back to face-to-face, -to -face, um, I wanna make sure that we are um, starting to exercise some of our muscles that maybe have atrophied a little bit in, in the last couple of years. Um, and one of those is, um, am I not advancing? One of those is note-taking. So remember that, that part of our grade is going to be taking notes uh, this semester. So we, we sort of, again, uh, uh, keep those skills alive, keep that going. If you're an awesome note taker, great. If you used to take notes a lot and then sort of kind of gave up a little bit, um, that's cool. Um, if you haven't really ever taken a whole lot of notes, all that stuff is fine. So I just want you guys to, wherever you are in the note taking process, I want everybody to get um, better and and uh, more solid on it as we go through the semester, just like graphing, just like some of these other uh, skill sets. So, um, uh, actually, actually, you guys tell me how confident. Uh, we'll take a pause here, and you guys just unmute and just share how how uh, how confident are you guys in in your note taking? Um, are you think you're like you're locked and loaded? Are you pretty happy? Are you neutral? What do you guys think about your um, your note taking skills? I think I'm pretty good at taking notes. <laughs> I haven't stopped online. In fact, I've I've gotten uh, more intense with my note taking online so I can remember things. Great. Great. Other folks. Nobody wants to say. All right, I'm gonna have to randomly call on people that I'm gonna become that guy. Uh, let's see, where's my hat? Uh, um, Dylan, how, how uh, are you? I was gonna say, I actually think I got a little better once it went online as well. So. Good, good. So now, I, I, uh, Dylan, are you, do you mostly, are you mostly a typer or are you a handwriter kind of person? Um, no, I definitely type, but I'm kind of weird. Like I, when I take notes, I act like I'm gonna make a presentation on it. So I'll just make like a PowerPoint and then. Cool, that's good. Uh, no, whatever, remember. whatever works, man. Cool. Okay, uh, anybody else want to jump on in? Share how you feel about your note taking skills. Well, for me, I feel like my note taking skills are completely opposite than Dylan and Em's. My note taking has gone downhill since we've been online. I've gone from taking notes on pen and paper to taking notes on the computer. And each time they're just all iffy. Um, and Charlene, you're doing it so like if we're like say on Zoom or you're doing like in a on like a, a Word document or something off to the side on that same computer, or do you use a separate like tablet or computer? Usually I'll, um, I'll type them while the lecture is going and I'll try to write them down so I can actually remember them because when I type them, I'm not going to remember them. Then I always forget to write them. Right, cool. Awesome. Right. <laughs> I hear you, I feel you. Uh, how about Megan? I'm more on Charlene's side. <laughs> um, I definitely think I don't personally struggle too much with like taking notes on the computer, but I definitely say it doesn't make me want to go back and, you know, underline the words that were the key points or, you know, 
jot down like topics that were like brought up with that fact or stuff like that um through zoom as much as I did when I, we were in person okay cool yeah I know that I I personally when I um you know if I have a a printed paper let's say um I'm writing all over it and I'm starring things and I'm her 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 and I'm I'm, I'm engaging with the material in a very physical way um, and making my head think about this and jumping back and forth and whatever. When I read stuff that's um, th that made that same exact paper, but is just say in a PDF form on a screen, um, historically much less interactive. Like I read it and go, oh yeah, I think that reminds me of this or that. And I just, I don't, I don't get as deep into it. And I don't, uh, the way my, at least the way my brain works, I don't retain it as well. Um, so yeah. So anybody else, anybody else want to want to uh, chime in as to how they're how they're feeling at the moment about their note taking? I realize now that I might be an outlier. No, no, it's okay. No, because, it's it, no we, because I take uh, I have a notebook for notes. I take paper notes instead of typing them. No, that's cool. So I uh, I'll show you a picture of my thing. But so what I um I've been uh. Um, so I have a iPad, um, and I use where the heck did it go? So I use this thing, this this Apple Pencil deal, um, and it works really well. Uh, so I can write, and it'll convert my handwriting into um, into you know typed text if you want. But mostly, what I do is I just I don't usually have it converted. I just I just um, keep my handwritten notes. So just like M was saying, I basically have handwritten notes, but it just happens to be an electronic. But but I have the, you know, printed printed letters and symbols or stars or you know however I want to do it. And for me, that works a lot, a lot better um, for the way my my brain works. Okay, cool. Uh, regardless, all of us, um, I want you guys to um, to get better get more familiar keep keep your level of goodness if you guys feel like you're doing well um uh on note taking as we go through the semester and hopefully your other classes as well so um when we're going through and and, and so today's today's class will be an example of that so normally i have outlines and this and that not today's so today's i want you guys to take a whack at um uh, sort of organizing, et cetera, et cetera, with, with regards to our notes. So the key thing with note taking, um, whether you're type, <clears throat> typing it out as we go, whether you're handwriting it out as we go, whether you're electronically recording your handwriting as we go, whatever, whatever the, the jam is, um, you guys should be jotting down those key terms, those key quantities, if we're talking about numbers, um, absolutely the key ideas. Um, but also not just the stuff that I'm barfing out, I should say barfing out, that sounds like I'm not doing anything. Uh, my incredibly brilliant lecture content that is just so enthralling, you guys can just think it's the best thing in the world. Uh, that, um, so all that stuff that that's sort of coming out of my mouth or coming out of the screen, but then also what you guys are thinking, right? Simultaneously. So, oh, this is, that doesn't make any sense, or this seemed to disagree with the reading, or Actually, that was the same thing as the reading, or this is another example from the video we saw, right? So, so actively engage with that. Don't just sort of uh, part of note taking is taking um, the content from the lecture and streaming it and capturing it right on your in your document. But um, the real power of note taking is to take that and then turn it into knowledge, right? So, so um, because. I talk so fast or, or the video goes so fast or your colleagues are, are, are debating things back and forth. Um, we have to go a little bit faster than most of us are, are you know, ideally ready for. And so that's gonna usually mean some type of shorthand, some type of abbreviation, some type of way of, um, of capturing stuff that's not exactly word for word. So sometimes when people haven't been note-taking for a while, they get into it and they, they think that if they don't capture every single word that they're somehow failing or whatever, no. Uh, key, key parts, key elements. Me plus your initial thoughts. And then the next, the key, key part, sometimes also sometimes people think that, oh, as long as I just keep, get this stuff down, I'm good to go. No, 
getting it down is the first step. The second step is to look back over that. So you got to book time in your schedule, um, you know, ideally right after class, if not right after class, you know, this afternoon, you know, today, um, and, uh, or, or whatever that day is for your other classes. And that'll give you time to go over stuff, reorganize stuff, think about how this, how this um, uh, part fits into that, et cetera. Um, and so you can sort of go through and, and, and highlight stuff. You can use colors, you can use uh, thicknesses, highlights, all that kind of jazz. And then, and then once you sort of got the stuff down, once you've tweaked it and, and, and um, you know, reorganized it or, 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 or found similarities, that kind of stuff, then copy it over, copy it over. So um, that copying it over is just like studying. So sometimes I think we think that the way we study is we pick up a, a, our notes and we read it over. That can be studying. But the very fact of engaging with these notes, that is an act of studying. So reorganizing it is a way to review it. Um, uh, uh, re um, prioritizing stuff is a way to interpret the content uh, differently in a way that makes sense to you. Um, so a couple different uh, examples of stuff. So, so, so there's a, a gazillion different ways, a bunch of different ways you could take notes. Here's like sort of an extreme graphical version, uh, so-called mind map, where you have an idea and then a date or another concept or whatever, and you link that to that and that thing's linked to that. And so you go through that way. So some people, uh, this works well for, for them. Um, when I say that I want you guys to be taking notes this semester, I don't have one particular um, exact type that you have to follow. I just wanna see that you're taking engaged notes. So some of us will be more um, hyper-organized and sort of nested within nested things. Some of us might be more visual, um, it, it, whatever, whatever, is your jam. And so, um, so one extreme on visuals would be something like this, a mind map. Um, another, uh, probably one of the most common methods, at least when you, if you took like a University 100 class or, or an online seminar for how to take notes or whatever, the so-called Cornell method is um, pretty popular. And so um, what that would be is your, your binder paper or your, um, uh, sheet of, of virtual paper on your Word document or whatever, um, it's going to be this. You, you, you slice, slice your paper, every, each individual page into um, different, different chunks. And so the bulk of it would be your notes. So this is your, you're jotting down those phrases, you're jotting down your um, uh, info, and this is what you're going to be taking as I talk or as you read the paper, as it were. Then over here, this chunk over here on the left, this cues part would be sort of the, the, the key summaries, the key elements, the main concepts, that kind of stuff. And that would be done uh, either right after class or maybe towards the end of class when we have you know, a break or something of that nature. And this is gonna synthesize and give order. So this pink section is gonna synthesize and give order to the white section. And then um, after you've gotten the, the raw stuff plus the key themes, then uh, at the end, and this would definitely be after class, um, you do some type of summary of, of this, this component of the lecture, this, this lesson. Um, uh, so this is called the so-called Cornell method. Um, regardless of, of if you're a really visual type person or, or, or other, um, you need to get, you need to review. You, you can't just take, take the stuff down and then go on to your next class and not go back and look at this. It really is a process. And so you want to review, review, review. Um, you definitely need to review it within 24 hours, ideally a lot sooner when it's fresh in your mind. And that will help cement those initial ideas, those terms, those, 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 those phrases, that type of stuff. Um, and then uh, you should be going back and constantly reviewing all your notes as the semester goes on. And so you don't have to go through all your notes every single day, but, but you know, a subset, go through a couple pages each day. Let me review this. Yeah, we didn't talk about, we haven't talked about that for a couple of weeks, but I'm gonna go back and, and, and re, uh, 
uh, re-go over that and see how that makes sense. Particularly in, a, in a, an example like um, our disaster class here where um, after we get out of this initial part of the class, we're talking about broad concepts, we're gonna start getting into wildfires, earthquakes, these things. And, and by reviewing your notes, it'll help show similarities and you'll be able to draw parallels from these different, for example, types of disasters and you'll see themes emerging. Um, uh, yeah, and so the more, and, and, then, and then how you, how you re review, reorganize that kind of stuff, your notes is really gonna depend on, on the type of learner you are. So if you're a visual learner, you can really emphasize sort of symbols and, and that kind of stuff. Um, if you're, um, if you do better by hearing stuff, you could read it out loud, all that kind of jazz. So, um, yeah, I want to really encourage you guys to be cranking on your notes. Make sense? Questions? So this is, this is, this is, I just took a couple snapshots of some of my notes. Again, I showed you guys, this is my, this is an iPad with a, with a, um, Apple pencil. Um, but whatever works for you guys is cool. You don't have to have a tablet or whatever. Um, I found that uh, I really started playing with these um, with this technique for me about six months ago, and and it really <laughs> seems to have have helped me a lot. Um, so this is um, a program that I use called Notability, but there's all kinds of um, of similar type of apps, and so so for me personally. This was, these are some of my lecture notes I was getting ready for today as I was pulling my lecture together for you guys today. Um, and so again, I think you guys know this or I think I mentioned this already, but this is only the second time we've taught this class ever. So I'm still really overhauling it and sort of almost starting over from scratch for most lectures. Um, I need to teach a class three, four times for me to really have all the kind of meat there and everything attached. And so in this case, I didn't like my intro lecture from last year, so I've really overhauled it. And so in this case, I took something, I took a, a PDF, which you'll see this in a little bit later in the lecture, but I took a PDF and or I, I, I took a, um, a, a part of a PDF and I started mocking it up, right? So I was commenting on this and I was highlighting these things and I was make, pulling together some definitions for you guys. And so... So the, one of the cool things about this note-taking technique is it blends sort of the best part of the typewritten or the, or the computer-based notes with the ability to, to handwrite on it. Um, although more typically, I, I, this is a note from a, a thing I was doing for the, um, for the provost, a, a meeting I was running. And so this is me just taking notes as we're going through. Again, uh, those, those are some examples for me. Whatever works for you guys. The key thing is professional, revised, et cetera. And so again, um, we have a couple points in the semester, basically unannounced that I'll say, hey you guys, let me see your, let me see your notes from the last, um, this week or this week and last week or something of that nature. So, so that's not meant to sort of be a gotcha. That's just meant to sort of me be touching base and, and making sure that I can give you guys feedback and that you are staying on it. And it is an encouragement for you guys to be um, taking notes the whole time. Any questions about that? Any note taking questions or, or general wonderings about notes? Okay. Okay. So um, I'll just say that um, for this week, I, I do want to see your notes from this week, uh, not today, but, but end of the end of the week. Um, and so uh, as a reminder, uh, this lecture, I've not, um, made it quite as outlined as I typically have. Um, sometimes people, the last thing I'll just say before we leave the note things is sometimes um, I try to be, not sometimes, I do try to be organized in my lectures. You guys can tell me whether I succeed or not. Um, but sometimes people think that uh, just copying down my, my say slide headings or, or my organization um, is, is note taking, not really. Um, maybe I'm the most brilliant person in the world and I organized my lecture in the best way possible. Maybe. Um, but uh, more likely than not, you have another way to organize that same information I'm conveying. And it's not as if I'm wrong and you're right or, or you're right and I'm wrong. It's just different ways for processing that info. It's all about getting you guys these concepts, learning, moving forward. And so if all you're gonna do is just copy out my lecture slides, that's not 
that's not super helpful, right? That can be a start. But again, I really want to encourage you guys to remix, review, edit, et cetera. Um, and so that's our goal. All right. And uh, if nobody has any questions, we'll just go on with our main 